Did you know that society has taught internet search engines to become biased? Well, if you didn't, don't worry, because Pantene, a shampoo company, is here to tell us all about it. If you're searching greatest painters, the default is going to be male. Small quibble here, but she's saying that she's searching for greatest painters when it clearly shows that she is searching for famous painters. Greatest and famous are two different words that have two different meanings. Now, some of you might have noticed that the video has some fine print on the lower right hand corner that says search experience simulated, which means that for all intents and purposes, the results are fake. So instead of taking their video at face value, let's take a look for ourselves. Search for famous painters, and you may find that Frida Kahlo is in the top 10. How about that? The default is going to be male. Georgia O'Keeffe is also listed in the search result. But if you're a woman, it doesn't mean that you have to be inspired by her work, right? What if you're not fond of paintings of flowers that look suspiciously like female genitalia? Well, you'd be wrong, because if you're a woman, to you, Georgia O'Keeffe is the greatest painter that ever lived. Women couldn't possibly be inspired by men like Michelangelo, Van Gogh, Monet, or Da Vinci. Nope, sorry, just deal with it. As a mother who has two daughters, it was heartbreaking to see the sexualization of girls. Silly question, but why is this mom searching for images of schoolgirls? And again, Pantene's simulated search experience is very different from reality. As you can see, a basic search shows everything from stock images of schoolgirls to schoolgirl costumes including this sexy schoolgirl's men's funny fancy dress costume for only $69.99. I know what I'm gonna be for Halloween. And remember that Google gives you the option to narrow your search. So if you're looking for girls in school, it will show you girls in school instead of schoolgirl costumes. What am I supposed to feel like if I type in something perfect and I don't really see myself? Are you saying you're perfect, dear? Someone's full of herself. But seriously, it sounds like she just wants to see pictures of black women with perfect hair. The answer is to narrow the search by typing perfect African-American hair. Wow, is that so hard? Curiously, I don't see any men in that search result. Does this mean that there's a bias against men? Of course not. Search result rankings are due to many, many factors, including captions, alt and title text, tagging, metadata, keyword usage, as well as a website's design, page rank, and overall search traffic. But forget I said any of that. Instead, let's listen to the shampoo company tell us that we're victims of society or whatever. It's, it's just easier that way. Asiatica is a woman from Asia. So instead of typing Asiatica, she typed Asiaticas, plural. Either way, Asiaticas is going to give you very broad results. Not sure what she was expecting to find here. I don't understand. Asian does not equal sex. Well, Google certainly doesn't think that Asian equals sex. And I certainly didn't find the results that she did because when I searched for Asiaticas, I browsed through 10 pages of search results before I came to the conclusion that Pantene is full of it. Pantene created she, search human equalizer, transforming the way we search by removing the bias. She, they, they named it she. As a browser extension, she operates on the search backend filtering and repositioning results to yield more accurate representations. So now, a schoolgirl means a schoolgirl. Well, it meant schoolgirl before, but yeah, sure. Thanks, Pantene. You're doing God's work. And ethnicity is not a sexual invitation. But it wasn't before. This time when I searched greatest engineers, there's actually three females in the top 10. But if you look closely, you can see that two of the top 10 results have the same picture. They can't even fake their fake search results correctly. This is what we should see. It's me. <laughs> it's everyone. <laughs> Notice that the search query is great hair when they were previously searching for perfect hair. And as it happens, if you search for great hair and then turn the she filter on, look what magically pops up to the first result a link to Pantene.com. I know you're shocked. 
filtering and repositioning results to yield more accurate representations. And look at the greatest astronauts. They're showing Krista McAuliffe. But if you search greatest astronauts on Google, McAuliffe is not included because, well, not to be a downer, but she never actually got to space. And according to Pantene's video, these famous entrepreneurs also happen to be the greatest astronauts. Wait, what? Now, she is very limited in what search terms it will modify, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. For example, the Chrome extension will modify results for Asiaticas, but not the terms Asians or Asian women. Greatest senators and famous senators are listed, but not congressman, congressperson, or representative. Then there's my favorite, normal family. The top image result for normal family with or without the she modification is a publicity still from the 80s television show, ALF. Great work, Pantene. So what did we learn today? Narrow your search criteria to get better search results. And my advice for the producers of Pantene's ad campaign? Stop drinking shampoo. It's for external use only. Thanks for watching, sharing, and hitting that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description and check out these videos that you may have missed. As always, I hope to see you next time.